Hi guys, it's Mrs McInnes here. Today's lesson is going to be concentrating on using the formula to calculate speed. So just a quick recap of the distance speed time triangle that we looked at yesterday. Here we have the triangle with the letters. So you've got D at the top and then S and then T. Remember that you fill it in sort of alphabetically from the top and then down kind of left across to right. So D at the top and then S and then T. So here we have the formula for speed. Remember I talked about this yesterday. Speed is distance divided by time. You take the distance that's covered, divide it by the time that it takes to cover that distance and you'll get the speed, okay? So that formula down the bottom is the formula that we're going to be using in this lesson today. So let's do a couple of examples. So the first one would be a pink level um, example. So here we have a car travels a distance of 150 miles in three hours. Calculate the average speed of the car. So the first thing you would do is you would make a wee note of your distance speed tri uh, time triangle. For calculating speed, if we cover up S for speed, you're left with D on top and T on the bottom. So your formula for speed is distance divided by time. So the first thing we'll do is write out our three variables. So distance, speed, time. So your distance in this question is 150 miles. Our speed, we don't know, that's what we're trying to find out. So we'll just give that a question mark. And then our time is three hours. So when we go to fill in our formula, so speed equals distance divided by time. So that would be 150 divided by three, which is 50. And then your units will come from your distance and your time. So because our distance was miles and our time was hours, it'll be miles per hour. Okay, so that will come from whatever the units are in the question, so miles per hour. You must have units for your speed um, in your final answer, so please don't forget to fill that in. Okay, example two is a sort of yellow um, style example. So here we have a plane travels 1,650 miles in 7 hours 30 minutes. Calculate the average speed. So again, we would write out our three variables, so distance, speed and time. So our distance is 1650 miles, 1650. Our speed, we're trying to calculate, so we'll leave that as a question mark. Now our time is seven hours, 30 minutes. Remember I talked about yesterday that you need to use decimal time. So seven hours, 30 minutes would be 7.5 hours. So when we do our formula, it's speed equals distance over time. So that will be 1650 divided by 7.5. So you would use a calculator to do this, um, which is going to give you 220. And then again, for our units, we have miles um, as our distance and it's hours and minutes. So it's gonna be miles per hour. Okay, one more example here, which is again a sort of yellow level example. Um, maybe even yellow purple. So here we have Mark runs a distance of 300 meters in three minutes, 45 seconds. What is his average speed? So if we write out our variables, distance, speed and time, our distance is 300 meters. Speed is what we're trying to calculate. So question mark. And our time here is three minutes, 45 seconds. Now, normally we would use hours in our um, calculations for time. If your time is not given in hours and minutes, you would just use whatever unit of time that it is in. So this is three minutes, 45 seconds. So we could write that just in minutes, the same way that we would do it if it was um, hours. So if it was three hours, 45 minutes, it'd be 3.75. It's the same thing if it's um, minutes and seconds instead of hours and minutes. So 3.75 minutes we would put in there for our time. So for our formula, we've got distance over time. So 300 divided by 3.75. And then our units here are going to be slightly different than what we've seen so far. So when we do the divide, we get 80. And our units here, we have meters. And then we changed our time into just minutes. So this will actually be meters per minute. 
so that would be more actually a sort of purple style question um, just based on the kind of different units at the end. So your units for speed will come from whatever your distance and your time is in in terms of the units there. So today what I would like you to try is from the pink booklet if you're going to do the pink questions, page two, question one, two and three, just down that first column of each question. And then if you're going to try the yellow purple questions, it is page six, exercise six, and it's going to be question four, five and six from there.